Well, good evening, guys. Hope you are all well. It's uh, Neil Cook, Spirit Medium, here talking everything paranormal and spiritual. Some announcements to make as well, guys, uh, and some forthcoming events which I'd like to talk about. I hope you can all join me tonight, and if you do, if you would please like and share, then that would get this live feed out to the right audience. Excuse the microphone, guys. See if I can get that out of the way. Uh, if you're watching for the first time tonight guys let me know where you're watching from and I'll give you a big shout out uh, pop it in the comments and if you're part of anything else with regards to social media if you're another spiritual group another paranormal group or a psychic medium yourself then leave your name in the comments thank you for sharing Hazel leave your name in them comments uh, along with your group what you're part of and our good people who are going to be following this stream <clears throat> excuse me will also come along and give you a like and uh, a big hello as well uh, if you do see me looking from side to side I've got three monitors in front of me uh, I'm watching the comments on one side looking at you guys uh, well my camera is just up there but I tend to stare at myself more than I look at the camera that's probably a bad thing so what I'm gonna do now guys I'm just gonna share it among my walls as well so if you just persevere with me, uh, bear with me if you're not pregnant, and then we'll get this uh, shared to the other walls. Uh, Tracy, hope you're well. Tracy Clements, hope you're well. Um, it's, uh, oh, from Boonville, Mississippi. Wow. Thank you for joining us. What time is it there, Tracy, please? What time is it in your world, please? Let us know. Um, right, is this my feed? Just gonna find it now as it appears on my wall let me just refresh my page hope you're all well guys it's uh, just after 8 uh, p.m. UK time here not sure what it is in your part of your world but uh, let us know as well let me just share this live feed right it hasn't appeared on my screen yet um, nor as all the names who are following this let's see if I can get it shared on here two seconds guys i do apologize good evening jan leonard hope you're well uh one of our gsi paranormal family members and also in the background vicky is monitoring the comments so she can assist with some of the questions you might ask um let's have a look let's have a look right it doesn't seem to want to share never mind I'll, uh, I'll rely on Vicky sharing the post for me and Jan. Hopefully they'll do that for me. Right, guys, hope you're well. Uh, like I say, it's 8 p.m. here in the UK. Uh, it's only going to be a short and sweet live stream unless you make it any bigger. Um, I, I can answer your questions with regards to paranormal. I can also answer your questions with regards to anything spiritual. I'm not going to um, try and connect to spirit tonight, but if anything does come through, then I'll pass that on. But it's it's just a spiritual and paranormal chat. It is, guys. It uh, that that's all it is. Uh, I've only got one comment up to now. I can't see any more, so I'm just going to refresh my page. Uh, it is. A important that I get to see who's who's um, there in the chat because I want to give you all a shout out ah here we go right this should work now right let's see who's on the wall Pete Henshaw good evening Emily Scott good evening please like and share guys Helen Steele thank you for joining us tonight um, Emily new face I uh, haven't seen you for a while but thank you for joining us anyway and Joe Scott uh, as you can guess related uh, a big hello to you as well um, whilst we're t talking about Joe Scott uh, to the para paranormal world guys uh, as you're probably aware um, one of the best uh, Swiss army knife tools for the paranormal world was always the Ovulus. Uh, the Ovulus was sold some years ago uh, and it retailed around £169 UK money a uh, little bit more in dollars uh, and they've become uh, very much like gold dust at this moment in time. If anyone's wanting a Ovulus free, uh, that's the Ovulus free, which was the Swiss Army knife of paranormal investigation tools, guys, pop along and see Joe Scott. 
she has one for sale uh, if, if any of them paranormal groups uh, or the individual paranormal investigator is after one it's pristine still boxed looking very uh, neat and tidy and if anyone's wanting to get one for their group then she's the lady to see that's joe scott um Catherine Kelly, thank you for joining us. A very good evening. Um, Debbie Cartwright, thank you for joining us. Uh, Michelle Harper, thank you for joining us. Nigel Smith, thank you for joining us. Excuse me looking to the uh, side here. If, if you're new to the channel, a very good evening to you guys. Um, if you're here before, um, then please like and share. Please uh, make sure we get this across to the right audience. I've got some announcements to make tonight, guys. And pretty much most of you know all about them anyway. There's been a little bit of publicity over the last couple of days with regards to this. And I just want to salute two special people who've been in my life for the past year. Uh, and I also want to give them some love and send them on the way into their future plans. Uh, I'm just waiting for an audience to build up a little. I can see there's 15 of you. Um, and if you're brand new to the channel, I know I'm repeating myself, but I did say it at the start of the live stream, and you may not have been on the wall. If you're new to this channel, it, it's it's a weekly thing. I normally do a live stream every Tuesday, 8.30. It's done on the GSI Paranormal channel, and it also goes across my Spirit Medium wall, and there's a public figure wall there, which you get sent to as well. And all the other good people who come and watch it uh, because of you guys, use like and share my post. It hits the right audience and then we get a bigger audience building up if i miss any of your questions which you're asking tonight guys don't worry there's a lot of good people on this feed now watching and listening and you guys talk more among yourselves with respect than you do with me but that's a good thing because we're one big paranormal family anyway thank you for sharing peter uh, if you're new please let us know where you're watching from uh, what's the topic it's your topic mate you fire away and i'll answer but just before I do that Peter uh, I just want to recap on something which has happened this week uh, I'll just get my dog with me as well bless her she's come to see me and no doubt she's going to create some sound effects with drinking of some water unless Vicky was to take the water into the front room where the dog's not going to um, create an ambience noise in here yep she is Vicky Vicky the world right <laughs> It needs filling anyway. Shut the door on the way out as well, Hi. please. Uh -huh. Hi, Come on, puppy. Come on. Hi, Apparently, um, Pete is uh, totally new, or was it Ricky? I don't know yet. Give a shout out to Ricky because he's totally yep. new. Yep, Ricky, if you're watching, uh, is it male or female? I have no idea. Right, I'm sure they'll tell us with respect. Right guys, as you're probably aware this week, uh, there's been some changes in the paranormal world and with the GSI paranormal family itself. Um, for some time now, myself, Vicky, Jan and Shane and Corbett have been very much in your front rooms uh, every week. If it hasn't been to everything we've been posted on, posted on here, then it's you guys uh, coming and watching what we're doing. If it hasn't been on a public event, then it, it's you guys been following um, our journey over the last year. Now, a little over a year ago, uh, for the old people, the old school people, um, we formed a group some time ago and it was called GSI North East and it was exactly that. We were based in the North East of England, uh, myself, Vicky and Jan were pretty much the, the paranormal family. And whilst on our travels uh, up and down the country, we came across two amazing guys, Andrew Alexandra and Shane Corbett, and I know the majority of you guys all know them. Um, and for the last year, uh, the paranormal uh, GSI family have just got bigger and bigger than with everything we've done, uh, the venues we've gone to, the, the places we've travelled to, and even our audience is doubled, if not more. Um, and, and a lot of this is not just only from the commitments myself and Vicky are putting. Sorry about this, guys. I'm just going to sort something out. It's not only just because uh, of the commitments myself, Jan and Vicky is putting, but it's also come from two very good people, uh, Shane and Andrew. Um, you all know the, these guys, they were pretty much uh, part of everything we did. If it wasn't uh, Shane living here at my house for weekends, then we were living in his house uh, for the other weekends as well. And as you've probably seen all across the gym, 
Spotify wall. Andrew and Shane and ourselves have been there just about every single day in doing something uh, in, in the paranormal world. But like I said, for, for a little time now, we, we've talked and talked and talked a little more, shed a few tears, and um, unfortunately, it, Shane and Andrew have come to the conclusion that they need to move on in the paranormal world. Um, they've, they've got commitments like we all have. We all have full-time jobs. We all do something outside of the paranormal world. Uh, and we all have family commitments, work commitments, as well as everything else. Uh, a classic example of that is Jan uh, can work up to three jobs per day. Vicky is, is very much uh, a nine to five girl, but very busy with the homework she brings home with me. And my work can be anything from daybreak to dusk. Uh, so it, it, it's very hard to fit in the paranormal world at the same time. And, and because of this, what we're trying to do and how we're trying to do it, it can put a strain on uh, not only our relationships, but our, our full-time jobs, as well as to how we perform on a, on a night with regard to the paranormal world. Now, Shane and Andrew have choose to take a break from this, and they're not taking a break from the, the paranormal world, and nor is the GSI paranormal family door closed to them. At any one time, they can return back to what they were doing, which they were doing very well, and at any one time, they may choose to move on to another paranormal company. And just as much as these two guys were in my life for the last year they're still there in my in my uh friends in my message boxes and today we've been chatting as well as the venture um shane is um very much committed in his full-time job and also very much within his family uh, and what he what he's doing with his family uh, there's only so much i can say and shane can say the rest and fill in the gaps as well but like i say these these guys are very much committed to the the, the family as well as the full-time work just like i am myself and vicky is um andrew is is virtually a mirror image of uh, shane he too is very committed to his family. Uh, he's, they're, they're both very much ambitious and outdoors and doing things all the time with not only the work but the family as well. Uh, so obviously that that has to be paramount. Uh, and everything we do in our life, we, we have to put our family first and then consider what we do in our spare time. And, and one good thing we all said is this is only a hobby. And you have to remember the paranormal world is very much only a hobby. Uh, some people do do it full time. Uh, this is, this is um, our hobby, the, the paranormal side of things. Me as a spiritual medium, it, it, it's very much full time. But the paranormal side of it is the hobby. And, and that's how we all start off in the paranormal world. So unfortunately, um, they've stepped back. Um, from the the limelight of GSI Paranormal, then they're not front page as much as the way, if that makes sense, uh, and they're somewhat in the background. Although they're not totally co connected to the Paranormal page as they were before, as they were last month and the month before, they're, they're still very much there. And at any one time, they may just appear and and say a big hello, a big hello to the Paranormal world. I will say that um, if it wasn't for Andrew, uh, we wouldn't have captured some of the the masses of EVPs we've ever caught. We wouldn't have <clears throat> we wouldn't have had the sound quality of all what we did with with our cameras and everything else, and we would have missed a lot of things which we we we've caught uh, if it wasn't for Andrew uh, and and his commitment not only as an investigator but also as as the audio tech guy is is being uh, substantial substantial to, to the group it has. Uh, not forgetting that um, Andrew was pretty much the sharer. Um, all his banter went out across the paranormal world. All his findings went out across the paranormal world and, and all his, his love went out across the paranormal world. Um, and the same with Shane, exactly that. Uh, if it wasn't for Shane uh, adding his contribution to this wall then we wouldn't have had the the masses of video evidence being put together like a mini movie even my uh, spirit medium live stream um, little video is is thanks to shane uh, and if it wasn't for his input uh, his 
hours he's had to put in in his own time to to bring you the videos which we have on the gsi paranormal youtube channel then we we still would have been just sending out pictures to the paranormal world like a lot of us uh, still do uh, a lot of the groups <clears throat> now you have to you have to consider that it's it's okay spending four hours with a video camera in your hand and video on the the video in the events for the night but then when you take it home and dissect it um, and you know how it works in the TV world you, you could spend two days shooting and you'll only end up with 45 minutes for the audience and then you have to put all that together the music the words and everything else over the top and then render it and anyone who knows how to render videos will know that a 10 minute video may take an hour to render so some of the lengthy things shane give us at the end of a paranormal event it took all day to put together uh, and and we're greatly thankful for that so like like i'm saying this is a big shit shout out for shane and andrew who haven't left our friendship but they've stepped back from the GSI Paranormal uh, page on Facebook. Uh, they're still going to be very much part of our lives. They're still there if you need to shout out to them. And don't forget, the majority of you guys have them on your own uh, friends pages anyway, on in your contacts as well. So I'm just saluting these two guys. Uh, I know um, you've all asked the question, what's happened and why it's happened. But at the end of the day, our families are more important than anything else on this world our our close friends and family have to be paramount after that we if we've got spare time then we can do things like this or our photography worlds or our our jigsaws or everything else that we do in this world so thank you for listening to that guys i really appreciate that but I just wanted to salute these two guys, which I know at some point today uh, they'll watch this um, and I'll get a thumbs up from them as well. I'm just going to say a big shout out to whoever's in the live feed guys uh, i know you've been sharing i've seen your thumbs coming up in the love arts so i'm just going to acknowledge who's there michael mciver thank you for joining us thank you for sharing too carl bland thank you for joining us rebecca cunliffe thank you for joining us lisa marie Dun dunnell thank you for joining us as well helen Steele, linda hughes tracy one tracy swan thank you for joining us uh leila uh, elizabeth burnbridge if it's pronounced right thank you for joining us uh, let's see who else I've missed uh, Lin Linda Hughes if I haven't mentioned you already thank you for joining us um, Mandy Babeless Wilkinson thank you good evening and uh, uh, Ricky yes I have to give a shout out to Ricky Josephine Northover thank you for joining us uh, really appreciate you guys joining us Peter Podclues Peter Podclues is my brother my brother I know we don't have the same surnames but yes he's very much my brother um, Barry Frankish thank you for joining us uh, Alexa Elizabeth, uh, if that's pronounced right, thank you. Christine Smith, Kaz Dunn or Karen Dunn, uh, Ricky Walker, uh, oh my, I'm a boy. <laughs> thank you for joining us anyway, Ricky. Um, I'm sure you mean a man. Uh, let me just catch any more names. Uh, you're from Hull. Thank you for joining us from Hull. We did work down in Hull. Uh, we worked at the Ropery in Hull itself. Uh, I forget the name of the road it was on, but you're probably very much uh, aware of the Ropery. And we had some amazing contact with spirits down there, not only with uh, me as uh, being psychic, but the video evidence we caught as well. Um, that's on our YouTube Paranormal page on the YouTube GSI Paranormal. There's a full I think two lengthy videos of the whole uh, ropery uh, visit which we did it down there that's that's quite uh, of interest it is uh, Jan question for the people in conjunction with the little boy reincarnation story um, yes as you're aware we are currently working with a little young man um, who's had past life uh, experiences and he, this is still coming forward he's remembering his past life and he's carnated into this body and he's, he's little bits of his past past life are now coming through and he's talking about it a lot. His mum approached us as a group and asked uh, for advice uh, and with her good permission we are now documenting his, his uh, early uh, reminiscence of what's coming through. We 
did go out last week and, and sit down with a camera with him and just let him play with his toys and listen to what he had to say. We also had some trigger objects which would hopefully stimulate his past life. Um, one was the cap I was wearing which was a, a train style cap. Uh, what a what a, uh, a train driver or conductor would have wore, something similar to that. Uh, the other thing was little submissible words being mentioned which would have triggered his memory as well. Uh, like, I'm aware there's a tra tra train track near your house and trains go by and, and these little things which we were mentioning were actually stimulating his thoughts and then he start talking about this. But we're going to put it together as a documentary. We're going to uh, collate as much evidence as possible together. Unfortunately, we were out filming today with it and we got rained off so we couldn't go ahead and do what we were doing. Uh, but we were going on location today. We were going to go to the place which he tells us he used to work at, which isn't too far away from where we are now. And we were going to kind of film his kind of, um, how can I put it, his kind of excitement around this place which is starting to be more vivid in his memory than it was before. But unfortunately the British weather rained us off uh, and we couldn't do that. But any any of your views in the comments please. Uh, I know a lot of you have commented on the post already uh, and you've you've had some um, experiences. If not, uh, it's something you've, you've looked into before. Sheila Richards, thank you for joining as whilst I you remember me Sheila um, <clears throat> the forthcoming event which is coming up which is our ha Halloween special it's in a location in Gisborough which is on the outskirts of North Yorkshire and Teesside and it's an old coaching which is over 300 years old now we've been to this location as a team twice now but there's never been a public event in this location so it's not one of these locations which is overworked overstretched or spirit is just getting exhausted from people like me going in and talking to him now with the kind permission of the landlord he's allowed myself and uh, my company Paranor GSI Paranormal to go in there for an unprecedented night only one night only we're looking to get there early on in the evening. We're going to do a ghost walk. We're going to have something to eat within the hotel, the coaching, and then we're going to start doing the lockdown for the investigation for the night. And for those who choose to come along, you also have an option of sleeping over as well. But I don't think you would dare sleep in this location. We have one room which is really active uh, within the eight rooms which are available to you guys. Uh, and I think we may be wanting to kind of keep that uh, sterile and maybe not have anyone sleeping in that room and then all the other rooms who are, who may choose to uh, keep awake all night long or may get forced to keep awake all night long can go in and out of this one uh, room which is extremely active. Um, it, it's up for anyone who wants to come along we haven't decided on a limit of how many is coming yet but there's only eight rooms in total uh, and the maximum amount of parties can sleep per room is free uh, some rooms only sleep two and i think there might be one room which only sleeps one so obviously we try to uh, first come first serve if you decide a sleepover is to fit you with the right party in the right room uh, so you, you've, you've got your own little clique, your friends and family uh, but it's £50 per person who wants to spend the night there then leave at some point or if you choose to sleep over then obviously you've, you've got that optional £10 extra to pay to, to have a room for the night obviously you can wake up in the morning and, and, and have breakfast in this location before you set off home to wherever you come from uh, in this country uh, and have to travel back nice coffee and a good um, good breakfast inside your yeah. English breakfast so that's there as well um, I'm not going to talk too much about what's going on in there but if, if you pop along to the GSI West Yorkshire website you will see my story from both uh, times I went in there and the experience I had it has been in the public uh, eye the media uh, it has hit all the papers and I'm going to also post a link in the comments now, guys, uh, for you to read as and when you're finished on this live stream. You can you can have a read. So anyone who doesn't know of this location, excuse me, um, not looking at the camera. Um, 
but I'm just going to bring up the link which the newspapers covered and then you can have a read yourselves at a later time let's just find this link I do apologize guys you know it's it's always there then when you go searching for it it disappears um, let's have a look may find it um, yep here we are this is in the express.co.uk and it was also very much in in the national newspapers as well there's also a video which is connected to this and it, it shows what we believe to be paranormal what we believe to be the little girl who I connected to uh, whilst whilst in this location on the night uh, and this sorry I've lost the page here Tracy Dale, thank you for joining us. Let me just find this link, it's disappeared. Right, there we are. No. Right, here we go. I'm gonna post this link in there now and it will show you the video, what we believe to be paranormal, what I believe to be the little girl in this location who I connected to. Paul uh, Edgar, thank you for joining us as well. Um, anyone else who's joined us who I've missed, um, is there any questions, Vicky? Have I missed anything? No, I've shouted you out. If you're new to the channel, guys, uh, don't forget, give us a shout out uh, where you're watching from, and I'll do the same back to you. Uh, Ricky, uh, have you ever been to 39 Degree Street? but supposed to be one of the UK's most haunted houses. Uh, you've been three times now and uh, caught three EVPs. Uh, not much else. I'm not impressed. Um, it, it's a... <laughs> It was a location we were looking to go to uh, this month, actually. I found somebody. Hi. <laughs> this is hey. this is Jan Guy, guys, um, who's on this Hi. side, and this is Vicky, uh, Vicky and Jan, the GSI Paranormal guys. Um, it's the first time I've had Jan in my bedroom, but probably be the last now. But yeah, yes, go on. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, 39 Degree Street, guys. Um, we were looking to go to this location this month. Um, our researchers, uh, one of them being Jan, who you've just seen there, guys, um, did a lot of research on this location. Good evening, Michelle Lee. Hope you're well. Um, and what we heard about the location doesn't kind of there's no evidence uh, of this place ever being haunted uh, now i'm not going to say it doesn't have residual energy in it and residual energy energy will what once was there whether it be people who once lived there and the passed on to the spirit world what used to be there before the house was there i mean the law of the land what was attached to the house sorry what was attached to the land before this this house was built or just the energy of things passing through on a residual basis uh, which keeps sinking into the spirit world and our world and back again now um the, this research was given to me with regards to this location um, and and the the research says that this location pans back over I think 20 years of uh, paranormal activity taking place in this house uh, it also talks about people who lived in this house it was used as a hostel uh, and everyone was driven from this hostel uh, out out of there because of the paranormal uh, activity happening in there now how can I put this with respect guys um, if people had lived in this property then there would be evidence of these people living there on the census report over 20 years uh, we can only find one person who, who's lived in that house uh, and I believe him to be the owner and that's over a 20 year period and there's no evidence of anyone ever living there on the census that doesn't mean people haven't lived there there's just no evidence of that on any census and the public records are available for you guys to look at and you can research your address the next door neighbors or just about anyone in your neighborhood but that 39 degree, degree street there's no record of people in on the census living there other than this one person who I believe to be the owner and I'm saying this with the with respect guys um, what I also have to ask as, as an um, honest person is, 
if I'm going to take you guys to a, what I believe to be a haunted location and ask you to contribute towards the costs of that, I want to legitimately, legitimately take your money off you to pay for the costs, honestly, all right? And I would not take any person, any person's money off them to to recruit, recover the cost of a location I'm hiring if I didn't believe there was any kind of paranormal activity in that location. So that's probably going to answer what you're saying next is, well, why haven't you gone? And that is the answer to that. I, I have to ask the paranormal world why <clears throat> in 2006 when the movie people made 30 East Drive on the map and they said this is the most haunted house in the world in the look in this country the most poltergeist house activity in the country and it just exploded into the paranormal world and everyone wanted to go there why did D Gray Street have 20 years of paranormal activity and nobody knew about it now you can't say that the paranormal world has only just started because the most haunted uh, TV company has been running since 2002 or 2003 yeah and they've been just about here there and everywhere around the country Yvette and Cal Beatty have been all over the country so why didn't they go why wasn't this place noted on the paranormal register why hadn't anyone else been a 39 degree street until the East Drive exploded like a volcano. Why all of a sudden is 39 D Grey Street become the most haunted hotspot in the UK? It's been active for 20 years, so why why is it just all of a sudden in 2017 hit every newspaper and became a, a, a fashionable um, thing to, to be? You have to ask yourself that question, guys. Yes, you can walk into there and connect to intelligent spirit, and yes, you can probably walk into there like Ricky did and get EVP, which is probably from residual energy. Did the EVP answer the question you asked, or were you just picking up on the ambience of residual energy? I don't know what your findings were, but like again, I am not going to take people's money off them to assist to pay for a venue if I don't believe there's spirit in there which is going to kind of jingle some bones and stuff like that uh, I'm too honest for that if, if it's if if I book a location to go and I find out there's no truth in all the allegations made then it gets cancelled straight away and this is why we cancelled that event uh, I'm not saying that the paranormal world doesn't exist in there but from what I found in my research from Jan doesn't add up to what the promoter of the house said on YouTube so obviously I'm not going to waste my day and time and your money which is helping towards the cost to hire that location I'm too honest to do that any more questions guys I can hear them talking next door among themselves and they're supposed to be helping me. Um, I know s something went on in 30 East Drive. Yes, Peter, um, or Peter as you probably like to have known. Um, it, it is very active. Um, I, I know of that, I've heard of that, I've seen the evidence. Uh, there's a lot of good people out there in the paranormal world who are submitting their video footage. One of them is a friend of mine, John Blackburn. You probably know of that guy. He's, he's had some good uh, activity in that location. Uh, I know he goes there quite a lot. He actually did a spiritual circle in this location for some time and him and his mediumship friend, friends all went there to work uh, solely as, as mediums in this location and he's had some amazing responses in there not only with his group, his medium friends but also with uh, you guys as well uh, let me just take a drink of this guys, I talk too much it's cold now Michelle Lee, you've done 13 39 East um, De Grey Street. Yes, I have. I've watched your footage. Um, I'm aware you worked with the good John Blackburn in there as well. And on, on what I saw of your video on YouTube, yes, you had some great uh, activity. 
uh, you connected to spirit, you, you did some amazing work in there Michelle uh, and I was quite impre impressed on what I watched but I, I personally, my, my beliefs don't think it's active enough for me to go in there um, I'm not saying, like I said, I'm not saying the paranormal doesn't exist in there uh, but I don't think it is, it's as a haunted house which they claim it is uh, because if it was then why wasn't it talked about 20 years ago why has it just become a subject now um, you've only caught one EVP Pete in East Drive um, yes it, it, I think East Drive might be just a little overworked now uh, because it's it's kind of it, it's solely for that, it, it's like a fun fair ride, it'll only keep going for so long uh, before it starts wearing down. Um, let me see if I can catch some more comments. Is there any more questions? Hi, sorry I'm late uh, at my friend's house. That's okay Jane, join us at any time. Remember it's, a pre, it, it, it's recorded live now but you can watch it in your own time from the beginning straight afterwards. Uh, you, you haven't missed much. I've just been giving some shout outs to you good people. Um, <clears throat> uh, people hype it up to, uh, to be too much. Yes, they, um, they do. And you have to you have to ask yourself, Pete, what, who are the people who are hyping it up and what's their gain? Um, it, it's the salesman in the local forecourt will tell you that this car is the best car in the world and it does not a 60 in no seconds and it does everything else and he's selling you a product uh, that's what he's doing it's like the salesman in in the electrical store he will tell you that he's got that TV himself and and then he tries to tell you a uh, sell you a, a warranty which is bump which is bomb proof but then why would you need a warranty if it's that good anyway? Um, but yeah, that's a that's a, a Lee Evans thing. That um, let's have a look down the comments. Nothing's happened when we went there too. Uh, I'm assuming you're about uh, De Grey Street, uh, Lisa. Uh, was that you who mentioned that, or did it jump up, uh, Lisa? Yes. Um, I found an old hook uh, from a dray that maybe was between 1700s and 1800s how would you go about in doing psychometry on it uh, Carl um, if if you've got the gift of psychometry and you can read from objects whether it be photos medals something you've dug up in the garden then I would work with spirit and, and your connections to, to read from that uh, object it's not something I can I can tell you how to do it it's a gift uh, and it comes to you um, <clears throat> Another way is probably Google the image you found uh, and and then obviously uh, look into that image as well or see if you can get some likeness. Um, also look at what used to be on that location as well, Carl. Uh, if it was once a farm, then um, it, well, is it something which has been part of that farm? If it was mo once a monastery or abbey or church or something else, then then look at the history of this and what used to be there and it may it may kind of paint a picture for you of no it's not a hook which was used to hang something up in a barn it it belongs to this because this used to be built there so so look at that as well um museums if, it, if it's looking very old and a historic then maybe someone in a museum if you have a local museum around you then obviously you can pop into there with that object as well um i, I do know as a child Children, as, as children I do know as a child and my brother Peter can confirm this in the wasteland at the back of our house we used to burn anything and everything and and it might have been a metal bit base bed with all the springs and hooks and everything else uh, but it had wood headboards but we still burnt it anyway we burnt tvs out there we built a bonfire bigger than the house and we burnt it and every year for 18 years we used the same fire pit to burn everything except the neighbors now could it be with respect that um someone once lived in this house and there were little fire bugs like me and peter and we burnt everything then all of a sudden you dig it up and you think you found uh, the, cr the the crown jewels uh 
I'm, I'm not taking, uh, I don't mean that disrespectful, but what I mean is, are you just digging up something what someone else has previously burnt? Uh, I'm not saying that is the case, but consider that as well, Carl, because uh, I found things in my garden and thought the time team were going to come and it turned out to be part of something which everyone has in every household anyway. So so look at that as well. Karen Field, and thank you for joining us. Uh, I appreciate that. And Laura and Paula uh, from Off the Estate, state paranormal team uh, don't forget guys if you're part of a paranormal group if you're part of the paranormal world or you have something going on on social media whether it's to do with selling candles jewelry anything spiritual or whatever you do on social media now is the time to post your link in these comments here along the bottom and let the other people know uh, I'm, I'm hoping it's going to be paranormal and spiritual stuff uh, and not some for sale site for uh, stolen items from the corner shop so yeah uh, with respect post uh, your stuff on here guys and let everyone else see um, it's a great team here we're all talk among ourselves like I said jokingly before you guys talk more than what I do uh, and that's a lot of talking but yeah um, if I don't get to see your question I'll look later on tonight after the live feed and see if I can answer that for you as well I see you've answered that uh, Carl question is why is it only been active for 20 years yeah um, why why I'm, I'm assuming you're talking about De Grey Street um, I mean residual energy is here it's always been here since man walked on this earth because not every man which was born on this planet is still alive now so you'll always have residual energy you'll always have the stone tape theory you'll always have something which is being in, absorbed into the fabric of the building and it, it's releasing itself whether it be a castle a museum a library or the corner shop there'll always be that one of the active places I've found out uh, is the old post houses the old post offices the sub post offices which have been converted into um houses now and and a good friend of mine who appears here every now and then kim um her mum and dad own an old converted post house and it used to be the post office where every single person in the village went on a daily weekly basis right so and this building would have been stood there for a hundred years minimum right and everyone who's lived in the village and died in the village and gone in there just to kind of chat about their day and everything else all that energy has absorbed itself into the fabric of the building now it's been a long time a house now so obviously we haven't got the same people going in and out of there other than uh, her family who live in there now so now this energy is releasing itself back into the house now i'm not going to go into it in the personal details but me and kim have talked about it and she's well within a uh, she's she's quite welcome to come on to me and talk about it sometime we have asked can we go to this location we will have to travel and pack our bags or maybe take my new caravan but we're willing to do it and and if we can uh, go down there it would be an, a, a very eventful uh, night uh, to say the least but um, she might come on here one time and talk about it I know she watches these feeds and she will pick up on what I'm saying now but yes that would be uh, that would be good I mean like I said every villager went into this location on a daily or weekly basis uh, and now it's become a house so you can imagine um, I know post office Post offices don't just attract old people, uh, and I don't mean that disrespectful, but there'd have been a, a generation of people who used it for so long and sadly have took a transition into the spirit world. And I think, and a lot of you good mediums are on here now listening. Good evening, Sarah. Uh, a lot of the good, you good mediums on here now, like Jane, um, Helen, uh, Michelle, uh, we're all mediums, remember, Carl, where you spent your time here on this physical plane on this earth plane and you had the fondest memories and connections and the love and everything else you do find that spirit will return back to that whether it's back and forth in in visitation connecting to that fond memory whether it was the prized possession old vintage car which is still sat in the garage and you feel your granddad's energy around it or it's the medal in the top drawer of your dresser which belonged to a family member 
or it's just that it was the last place they spent their time on this physical earth they will come back and forth here to this location like the post office because they spent their morning talking about their vegetables the meal the weather what holiday they were doing next um, and how much things have changed in their village so you can imagine all that with regard to like you said Helen stone tape theory all that tears and everything else is absorbed into that fabric of the building yes um we're all more than welcome on lee and uh, paul as well uh, off the estate paranormal um the the post some really good stuff on there uh, just like our good selves and everyone else it's a good read there's a lot of interaction um as as well as all what they do for the paranormals world paranormal world as well so pop along and give them a like uh two guys uh they're worth a visit um and i wouldn't recommend anyone if i didn't endorse them uh, myself right uh, Neil what is the most active place you've ever been jokingly the most scariest place I've ever been is at the bottom of a woman's handbag because the things you find in that handbag are scary mate you will have nightmares the most active location I've been is is probably um, now I'm not going to say where we're going in September although it's extremely active but I don't want to be sounding like a salesman trying to sell a motor vehicle uh, probably the Drake Low Tunnels and a location which we've never done uh, a public event in uh, and it's a little um, it's a little barn, barn in a place called Herworth near Darlington uh, and our good friend Emily and Joe Scott can certainly tell a story about this because we were invited to this location uh, many moons ago and we, we caught some amazing EVP uh, I had some uh, excellent awesome connections even uh, the local radio station came along one day and, and did a kind of interview paranormal thing as well uh, and it does have a kind of little stately home connected to it which was built uh, way back I think in the late early 19th century for a family which belonged to there even the um, the Barclays family belong to it as well and I believe this is a link to the banking uh, world now uh, but one of the persons who was connected to the Barclays uh, bank which is in, in the UK to name of one of our banks even this family were connected to this location and it it, 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 it still is a very much um, haunted location with lots of activity and it most definitely was when we were there unfortunately I don't think any company has gone in and done an event in there and I don't think any company will ever go in there and do an event unfortunately it, it's one of them ones where the lids kept on it and we were fortunate to get in there because we had connections with the uh, people who, who uh, were in that location renting that location uh, yes Helen the old Nick Theatre in, in uh, Lincoln uh, in Gainsborough is, is a very much active location uh, anyone who's been to the old Nick Theatre will, will certainly uh, tell, tell us of their experiences Helen and Michael Smith being one of them uh, but yes it's, it's very much uh, active locations you have to remember this is an old courthouse and police station a lot of naughty people were locked up in these cells in the old style justice system I mean the, it, it's you, you were badly done to back in the uh, early century of being a, a naughty person I mean if, if you're naughty nowadays you get Sky TV in your prison cell but this wasn't the case back then and, and we found that in a lot of the writing on the walls um, how it was back then but again yes Helen that was a very much haunted location we had some uh, amazing uh, connections not only as spirit but we worked with spirit um, in, in one of the locations within this place uh, and one of our videos which is on uh, the GSI Paranormal channel YouTube and on our Facebook GSI Paranormal you will see that footage where Helen herself and our good friend she Shelley was uh, manipulated by spirit with respect from uh, what I was asking spirit to do for them um, let's have a look at um, 
uh, exactly, exactly right, we're always sense the stone tape theory. Yes, Michelle, just reading back over your comments, guys. Uh, please forgive me. Great idea in the way mines are uh, coffee and two sugars. Yes, um, if, if you could, this is treacle, it's not coffee. It's two spoonfuls of coffee, Karen, uh, and two sugars, and you can stand the spoon up in it. Um, the owner of De Grey Street was having problems selling the property according to his niece. I find his uh, rec recollections of haunted activity to be uh, scripted and repeated word for word. Um, yes, uh, if you listen to YouTube video, uh, Ricky, and you listen to what he says with regards to he lived in it to a certain t day or date, and then moved out and it's been haunted ever since where's the where's the hostile part of it comes into it where do all the people who live in that who lived in that location come into it because there's no evidence where are these people who had their experiences where they had to just pack up and leave leaving all the furniture in there and and it looks very cosmetic to me and i've, I've seen the inside of the location and it just looks like another East Drive, and I don't mean as in um, East Drive is not uh, full of activity. What I'm saying is it's it's a carbon copy. They've, they've stuck an old vintage 70s TV in there, the oldest carpet you can find, peel some wallpaper off the wall, uh, and it, it's smelling of dank <coughs> dampness. Um, I, I, I'm not saying that... I'm going to repeat myself, I'm not saying it's not haunted, I'm not saying it hasn't got intelligent and spirit energy in there and any medium can connect to any spirit within their ether, in their environment and if you work as good as like Michelle Lee does, uh, you can, I'm not going to say conjure but working with spirit you can connect to any spirit who's in your ether, in your environment, in that workplace and that's exactly what she did and any good person, any sensitive person would do the same. But there's a difference between what was being said in the YouTube video, um, Ricky, uh, and the times and the dates don't make make sense to what that guy finishes on. What he says with regards to uh, he lived in it to a certain date and then left. There's there's a big gap somewhere, and like you said, uh, it's very much scripted, unfortunately. But never mind, never mind. Um, if 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 you want to sell something so much, then you'll you'll make it sound uh, awesome, won't you? Um, let's have a look. Just catch up on some of your comments, guys. Um, now's your time to like and share this if you haven't already. I would appreciate that. Um, look, my connection with my mum when Neil uh, read with a pendant uh, psychometry. Yes, we did some psychometry there. Um, I also read for Shelley just before we started the event, didn't we? Um, which was quite um, amusing, and I say that with respect. But we got to find out Shelley's traits. Uh, Spirit took the liberty of telling me, uh, but yes, that was of interest. Um, I do understand what you're saying Neil, uh, we do have some footage of was not added to the YouTube channel, uh, we had uh, experiments going off uh, which was filmed, uh, later asked uh, for uh, it to react with the equipment which it did, yes uh, I was channeling on Spirit on the night and trust my guards and inspirers, it may be get, I may be get the footage together, yeah yeah, Michelle I'm not saying um, it, it, it isn't what you said it is uh it's probably very much so um but um I, this room is haunted i'm sat in now my mum and dad come into this ether all the time my loved ones in spirit from the pet kingdom and everyone who i ever know who's gone to spirit i've connected to in this room right so it, it's very much that uh, um, a medium uh, a psychic medium can connect to spirit wherever spirit is but the paranormal world are walking in and me and you as a medium uh, Michelle uh, are very much different to uh, two paranormal investigators walking into uh, the place um, does that make sense I don't mean that cheekily um, and this is why I always say that every paranormal group should have a medium because you take people into a location and you tell them the story of this location as a paranormal investigator and you tell them where all these locations are where you've had an experience 
and you show me your equipment you're going to use to get the same experience and on face value these good people who were with you that night have to take that as gospel right a medium can walk into a location with the paranormal group and then connect to all these things and tell them where they're picking up because spirit doesn't just stand in one spot all night long they will follow you around they'll, they'll play tricks with the group which is in there and that medium can turn around when they're trying to debunk something on their equipment and say I've got a gentleman here I've got a lady here I've got an animal here and all of a sudden the ITC equipment starts going off the Richter scale like this and you confirmed it they've got the evidence and, and it always works I would say I would always recommend where possible if you're a paranormal team and you got within arm's reach of a good medium to take along with you then I would always recommend that not not for the cell factor not for the the thing but it, it just it's it's like you taking the the AA mechanic or the RAC mechanic along to buy a car he examines the car, he does the 121 point check and he says to you that salesman who's selling you this car is talking legit and it's worth buying. Does that make sense? It does to me. Yeah. But with respect to everything I've said tonight guys, there's no malice in what I'm saying. Right? I'm not being disrespectful to anyone on this chat and if I don't describe it how it sounds then please forgive me but I don't mean it that way. I genuinely don't mean it that way. Um, Chris Willock, if I pronounce it right, and 12 others have shared my post. Uh, really appreciate that. Um, if it wasn't for you guys sharing this, then there wouldn't be 8,400 and something something people following this page now. Um, and nor would there be 8,500 people following this page if it wasn't for um, Andrew. Andrew Alexandra, if it wasn't for Shane Corbett, if it wasn't for Jan, if it wasn't for Vicky, and if it wasn't for my input, which I put into this at the start uh, some years ago. Uh, and these guys have made what this is now, uh, and it's thanks to that. And you guys have also made that, because I could sit here and talk to this microphone here all day long, and I could talk to you all day, uh, I could talk to these computer monitors all day long, but without you sat the other side of this monitor, then I'm just wasting my time. So I have to thank you guys for, for being an audience for me, for over the year I've been doing these live streams now, for being an audience for me and Shane for the times we did our live stream, and for being our audience for the times we've been out on location and, and, and talking to you guys from a haunted location. Um, Thank you for that, Michelle. Yes, um, I'm, not, I'm, I'm no expert at this, but I, I just go on recommendations, not only with my nature, my thought, and how I've always done it, but sometimes it, my dad used to say, if it's not broke, don't, don't, don't fix it. It's, a, it's, it's the same thing. If it works, then keep working with it. Uh, Amanda Price, hello, Neil. Good to see you. I hope you're well. I'm looking to the family visit Whippy in September uh, it'd be good to meet up with you uh, as as we discuss and share your live video for this evening uh, thank you for sharing Amanda let me know the time and date you are in Whippy Amanda and I will come and see you me and Vicky will pop along with Cassie uh, and if, if we can meet up for a drink a coffee or even a meal and like I said if you want me to be your tour guide of Whitby uh, for half an hour to half a day we'll, we'll do that for you we'll, we'll make a day of it uh, it'd be good to see you if we're not messing with your plans while you're there then we'll certainly give up uh, an afternoon for you and come and see you we're 60 miles away in that direction but this is mirror image so it's that direction uh, but yeah we will come and see you you let us know <clears throat> and we'll we'll come and see you most definitely um let's see shared again thank you helen appreciate that uh you've done well with your videos over the last year keeping good work well yes um we, we've we've just done what we thought the audience wanted to see uh, nothing more nothing less 99 percent of our work over the years been is being debunked because we we look for a way of debunking it first and then uh, i'd hate to put something out um which which is quite clearly not spirit and not paranormal uh, i'd rather 
uh, even when we sent that footage which is now linked in these comments we said to the papers we think it's paranormal me as a medium think it's the spirit I connected to on that night and they're even put out in the papers do GSI paranormal catch a spirit a ghoul or whatever they announced it as even there we, we told them we're not saying it's 100% spirit we're not saying it's 100% paranormal we would like your say on this and they put it out that way and I think all the papers did that for us uh, otherwise we weren't going to hand over the story for them um, let's just nick down the wall um, Julianne Walton you've joined us thank you for joining us Jason Harris thank you for sharing I appreciate that I saw that you shot you shared last time and it went up on your wall Jason Harris also runs a paranormal page as well uh, pop on to his name and then over to his page he's he's very much uh, in the in, into the paranormal side of things excuse me I'll have to take a drink Uh, Helen Steele, when me and Shelley and Mick were in the dark holding cell, we were connected to a Yank um, and he was part of the Hells Angels. Yes, uh, I know exactly which person you're talking about. Uh, and, he, and on command, you asked him to turn your torch on and off. And the torch which Michael was holding was, was getting turned on and off. Uh, and yeah, the K2 experience you had uh, was for, was a phenomena. It was it was uh, working on command. It was it was uh, an amazing night. Uh, I'm just going to nip down the screen, guys. I'm looking on this wall here just to see if I've missed anyone. Uh, I think I've caught everyone so far. Uh, any questions, guys? Uh, just for north over, I visited Fort Nelson in Portsdown Hill in Portsmouth a few times. Very active, even in the daytime. Uh, have had a few experiences there. It's not something we've got to yet, uh, as far down as that. We we did we were looking to get up to Scotland uh, this month. Uh, the reason being, we were invited by our good friends, um, Supernatural UK, David Barrett and uh, Lee. Um, um, Ian, sorry, uh, Ian Ainsworth. Uh, we were looking to get up to work with them. Uh, it's it's still on the cards, I believe. But however, like I said at the beginning of this live stream, some of our job commitments, our full time jobs, which these two guys who you've just seen do, uh, are not going to allow them to do that. And if it does, then it's going to be. A, a big strain because they're going to have to get up to Scotland, do the paranormal event, and then nip straight back down to the uh, Teesside and and straight into work the next day. Um, and and although um, Vicky's on light duties at the moment, being what time of year it is for those who know what job she does, she still has a work which she does at home. Uh, if that makes sense, so it it's still um, it's still. Uh, a, a, a lot to do for both of them. Uh, Leanne Smith, uh, Leanne, um, I can't pronounce the middle double barrel name, Smith has joined us. Thank you for joining us, Leanne. Um, hope you're well. I'm just going to nip up to the top of the comments. Uh, thank you for joining us tonight, Michelle. If you've had to go, hope you're well. Um, let's just. Uh, a big thank you for Amanda. Yes, you're welcome. It, uh, it'll be our pleasure. Um, right, any more comments, guys? I'm, I know I've only been on uh, a little over... Oh, I've been on an hour. Wow, I talk too much. Uh, I've been on an hour. I thought I'd only been on half an hour. I'm thinking I joined the live stream at half eight tonight, and obviously I started at eight o'clock, so uh, I thought only women could talk for England with respect. Um, any more questions before I go guys? Um, any more questions before I go? If you're new to the channel, for the people who've just joined, this is normally done on Tuesday, 8.30 on a Tuesday evening, UK time. Um, it, it's anything spiritual and paranormal, question and answers, uh, and then if you can like and share this, this wall, once it goes out, then it can hit the right audience. I don't normally share it only on my walls because I know everyone on my walls are all spiritually connected or into the paranormal stuff. 
I can't share it anywhere else because I don't want to be sharing it to someone who doesn't believe in this stuff. So therefore, I rely on you guys to share it. Good evening, Elizabeth. Um, thank you for joining us. So yeah, I rely on you guys sharing it because you know who's on your wall. You know who's on your timeline and you know the audience you're sharing it to. Uh, and more than likely, you're connected to this kind of thing anyway. Uh, but what I'm going to do tonight, guys... Uh, I've got company tonight. Uh, I've sat in here by myself whilst the girls talk among themselves. Uh, I'm just going to accept this friend's request. If, you, if you're not on my friend's wall, please, please send away, send a friend's request. Uh, I'll accept anyone, any genuine friend request which has a picture of some kind of yourself. If it's not on your profile picture, then it's your timeline picture. I don't like to speak to eggs like on Twitter. I like to uh, see an image of a person in the family rather than just a, a butterfly or something else. Uh, but yes, feel free to join us on Spirit Medium Neil Cook, the Facebook page. We've got GSI Paranormal page, which has got forthcoming events on. It's There's a full description of all what we're doing uh, at the Old Coach Inn. Uh, it's well worth a look and a read. It tells the story of what's actually happened in this location. Uh, it also shows you some videos of what we caught in this location. And I'm going to share the link to the GSI paranormal page now and I know I'm on it but it's it's there for you who who haven't come through on the GSI paranormal live feed. So all I want to say now guys thank you for joining us. Uh, it's been amazing listening to what you've had to say. It's been a pleasure answering what you've asked. Uh, I know it hasn't been a huge debate tonight. Uh, I seriously wanted to come on here tonight and salute Andrew and Shane for the work and commitment they've given us over a year. Uh, not only has it been work, work, work with us, but beyond the scenes there's been a lot of laughs. Uh, we've, we've had some funny moments, some silly moments, uh, some chubby bunny moments for anyone who saw the video. Uh, and it, it's been a pleasure of working alongside, side by side with these two guys for the, for the uh, Yav. Uh, it's just a name. Um, he is called Neil. Um, I'm assuming that's me. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a shame they're not here still and the, they've stepped back. But thank you for joining us, guys. I could shout out a big uh, thank you to all of you, but I know you guys um, know I'm, I'm talking about you. Uh, thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you for being part of this. Thank you for being with us for the time you're and if you're one of them 8,504 people who are on this on this uh, channel, then I, I salute you two guys. Because, like I said, without you guys tuning in intermittently to watch these live streams, then I'd just be talking to myself. So have a good night, guys. Love and light. Be safe on whatever you're doing this weekend, whether it's with the paranormal world or with your Jack Daniels whilst watching X Factor. But be safe, guys. Have a lovely evening, and we'll speak soon.